I have a uh, good morning. Welcome everyone. I have a chabura, a private chabura. We learn on um, on Zoom twice a week. I'm very thankful, very very thankful to have the opportunity to learn. Uh, and we learn. We've been learning for a few months now, just going straight through the Torah and Shulchan Aruch. From here and there, we'll look sometimes in the Kafachayim, sometimes in the Mishabura, sometimes. Sometimes I, I like to go to the shelf and get from my Zeta, from the from from the uh, Habasyor, the sefer called the uh, Bekor Chaim, which is a very very beautiful sefer, which I adore very much. If it was here on, on uh, this uh, Sepharia, it would be a little bit easier. Uh, I know they do have, of course, the Habasyor on Sepharia, but it would be nice to have this. But anyway. I, I, again, sometimes we just do the tour and the Shulchan Aruch. We don't always do Mishnah um, or anything. But just it happened to yesterday, and, I, I, and it's a very organic shear. I don't, uh, I don't, you know, plan so much ahead um, how I do this shear. I'm just slowing down because there's an accident here, so we've got to slow down a bit. So, uh, the, um, it says, it, but the Mishnah Bura, it's talking about the, uh, it, it's in Hilchas Kriyashma, laws of reciting the Shema, which is a section from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, that is probably, you know, the, the main recitation before prayer in the morning and the evening and it's a very fundamental you know par excellence in Judaism but that we are concerned when we perform this recitation that we should be in the proper environment and so one of the issues is if people are both men and women this isn't picking on women but that both men and women are properly dressed one of the issues is um, women, particularly married women, covering or women who have ever been married, covering their hair, and it discusses their <coughs> various aspects of the law. But then, very interestingly, the Mishnah Brua feels that it's important to quote the Zohar, which is, of course, a mystical homily on the Torah. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is a book, Zohar Parshas Naso. So in the Zohar, in uh, it's a commentary here on the book of Numbers, uh, particularly, I think it's chapter 5, if I'm not mistaken, 5, it's somewhere around there, 4 or 5, um, where it talks about a woman who was suspected of adultery, and her hair is uncovered, and the, the Talmud says that by virtue of the fact that she's embarrassed by having her hair uncovered, we learn that according to the Torah, it's required for a married woman to cover her hair. Um, so, the Mishnah Brua, which is written by the Chovetz Chaim, by uh, Rabbi Yisrael Meir Kagan, who passed away in the early 20th century, but actually in the 1930s that he passed away. Um, it, it, Rodin, which is uh, around the Lithuanian part of Poland, I guess you could call it. Um, but anyway, the Zohar, of course, very, uh, uh, there's some controversy as to the authorship, but nonetheless, you know, the tradition says that it goes back to to ancient times, to, you know, like 1,800 years ago. <clears throat> anyway, it says, Zohar Parshas Naso Hechmir Ma'od, Shalom Yisra Shum Seir Me'isha. So the Zohar is very uh, strict, that a woman's hair should not be uncovered, should not be seen at all. The Garma Maskanusa Levesa, that causes poverty in the house and also causes that her son should not be considered 
to be distinguished in the generation. Sitra achra lishros bevesa, and the side of evil, the other side, the dark side, to dwell, to indwell in the house. V'chol shekhenim holchus b'shuka akah, and all the more so if a woman goes out publicly with her hair uncovered. Al kain b'oy itza the filu kores beisa lo yachvun sara. So therefore, it's it's requested that a woman even walls of her house should not see her hair. Even one hair from her head. And if she does so, meaning she's careful to cover her hair, what is written, it says in the book of Psalms, chapter 128, your sons will be, right, 128, yeah, will be like uh, olive shoots, mazayas, chulu, just like the the uh, olive, it gives you know the olive oil gives off light, etc. Bana yistalkun bechashuvin al sharbene alma. Her sons will be distinguished above all other people. And not only that, the baila misbarich bechol berchon leila uberchon lusata. But not only that, but her husband will be blessed with all the blessings above and below. With children and grandchildren, and obviously Parnasa and everything else. So, Baruch Hashem, we live in a generation where people are careful about this. It's it's really a big, tremendous blessing. And even some of the communities that weren't so careful about this in past decades, thank God, are careful about this and careful in general about hair covering. So, Baruch Hashem, um, you know, we should be avenged, we should all be blessed with Parnosa, happiness, health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and all good things. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment. We'll see you later.